All right, what's going on traders? This is Tosh, I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Today, one of our moderators, Matt, who goes by Chicago Trader in chat, has a very special video for us today, and it's a look into the filings and an MBRX, ticker symbol, deep dive. And while today is just a preview, if you wanna watch the full length video or any of our exclusive content, then come over to MIC and become an exclusive member. Hey, what's going on guys? It's uh, Chicago Trader checking in for the weekly fundamental video here. Hope you guys are having a nice weekend on this Sunday. So um, I kind of wanted to go over just MBRX real quick. Um, it was kind of a uh, you know deep dive, a little bit more in depth. It was kind of a bigger picture behind everything and um, kind of just want to go over it real quick. Uh, firstly, um, with they did an offering uh on the 26th so you can come through here and whoops wrong one so they do some units they do they have common stock on it they have half a warrant so first and foremost it raised uh 4.8 million dollars <throat> after the expenses so you can see here when we scroll down um so the units so there's one share of common stock um, and then there was half a warrant. So you got to figure there's about 2.6 million warrants. Uh, there's at an exercise price of $1.10. I believe this thing was right around 90 cents to a dollar. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Another thing too, if you can just kind of look at this screen, you can see that they were desperate. I mean, they put out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven PRs before it finally moved. So if you kind of go to the chart here, let me bring this up. You can kind of see it. Just, I mean, it really doesn't move all that much at all. And then they finally got it um, on the seventh PR. But the reason I want to kind of go over this was because if we scroll back up here, you're going to see um, on the 26th, they had 22.2 million shares on the float. Um, so it's got a large float, you know, a lot of these stocks that we trade that are a dollar or two, um, you know, are low floaters under 10 is what I consider it. But anytime that something with a float of, you know, this large is moving 150, 200%, um, you know, for me, that's where I really like to get interested. Also, before I, you know, I get ahead of myself here, uh, there's a shelf, the S3 on two, uh, 2017. You can kind of scroll down here. I went over it last week in the video, how to check out um, how much is left on the shelf. So this one, if I recall, uh, was right around 44 or $45 million that they still had left. Um, that's another thing too, is they had about eight or nine months worth of cash um, after they raised on the 29th. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.